In today's video, we'll discuss how to accept payments and choose the right payment gateway for your WooCommerce stores. A payment gateway is an online payment processor that acts as intermediary between your online store and your customer's bank. Using the platform, you can easily receive payments transferred by customers after a successful purchase. Here's how it works. The customer places an order on your online store and selects a payment method, such as debit card, credit card, or an online payment processor like PayPal. The details they fill in during the checkout are then transferred to your payment gateway. The gateway then communicates with the issuing bank to authenticate the payment. Once the verification is complete, the gateway releases a payout to you. This process may seem complex, but it typically happens in just a few seconds. To increase your chances of making a sale, you need a payment gateway that's user-friendly and aligns with your e-commerce platform. While a PCI-compliant gateway safeguards your customer's data, choosing a web host that prioritizes security can add an additional layer of safety. We suggest going with Bluehost. Our specialized cloud hosting plan includes everything you need to build a professional online store effortlessly. With a complimentary SSL certificate and a free domain for the initial year, you can minimize costs while launching a secure online store. Here are several factors to consider before choosing a payment gateway for your WooCommerce store. First is security. Choose a payment gateway that ensures the safety of your customers' sensitive details, such as credit card numbers and billing addresses. Check if the gateway complies with regulatory standards like the General Data Protection Regulation GDPR, and Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard PCI DSS. The second factor is ease of use. If the payment gateway has a steep learning curve, it can lead to abandoned carts and fewer sales. It should also help you add discounts, adjust subscriptions, and issue refunds effortlessly. The third factor is availability of multiple payment methods. Ensure that your payment gateway supports different payment methods, giving your customers plenty of options to complete their transactions. Next is integration with third-party tools. It is important to consider how well your payment gateway works with other tools you use. It should smoothly connect with third-party tools, like your customer relationship management, or CRM, analytics, and marketing tools. Otherwise, you will miss important insights from your CRM, have trouble analyzing transaction patterns with analytics, and find it hard to run effective marketing campaigns. Another factor is one-time payments or subscriptions. You might need to set up one-time payments or automatically charge customers weekly, monthly, or yearly. If your business is based on subscriptions, pick a payment gateway that lets you set up these recurring payments. The last factor is transaction fees. Each payment gateway has different fees for transactions, and some might charge for setting up the service. The fees can also depend on where you and your customers are located. Choose a gateway that fits your business needs, location, and budget. You now know how to choose the right payment gateway for your store. To start taking payments, follow these steps. To start, go to your WordPress dashboard. Then, navigate to the Plugins tab and click on Add New Plugin. Type WooCommerce in the search bar and click on the Install Now button, then activate. But if you don't have an existing site yet, consider Bluehost's WooCommerce hosting plan. You get WooCommerce pre-installed plus other important inbuilt features, including WooCommerce payments, bookings and appointments, gift cards, wish lists, and much more. WooCommerce offers various themes that you can use to build your online store. Here's how you can access them. Go to the WooCommerce tab and click on Extensions. Next, click on Themes. In this section, you'll find a variety of themes listed on the WooCommerce marketplace. You can sort them by clicking on any of the categories that best match your business. For additional themes, you can also explore the ThemeForce marketplace. Take your time to explore all the available themes and select the one that best reflects your brand's personality and aligns with the visual style you desire for your online store. If you're a Bluehost user, you get an AI website building tool called Wondersuite with all plans. This powerful suite offers various pre-installed tools along with Wonder Theme as your default theme. It comes with a diverse selection of patterns that you can customize through Wonderblocks to match your unique preferences. These patterns and templates are generated based on the information you provide during the Wonder Start onboarding process. To add a new product to your store, navigate to the Products tab and click on Add New. Here, you can add your product name, write a compelling description, upload high-quality images, set prices, and specify whether you're adding a simple product or a subscription-based item. Repeat this process to add more products. If you have a large inventory, this process can consume a lot of time. So, we suggest you import all your products at once via CSV. To do this, navigate to the Products tab and click on All Products. Now, click on the Import button. You'll be redirected to a new page where you can upload a CSV file containing your product details. WooCommerce often suggests its payment solution, WooPayments. While it's not mandatory to use this gateway, 
It comes with the advantage of being pre-integrated with many popular payment services, including digital wallets like Apple Pay and Google Pay. Wu Payments is also developed in collaboration with Stripe, meaning transactions made through this gateway are processed by Stripe. To set up the payment gateway, go to the Plugins tab and click on Add New Plugin. Enter Wu Payments in the search bar. Then, click on Install Now. After, activate button. Next, go to the Payment section and click on Finish Setup. You'll be redirected to a merchant account setup form. Here, you can provide more details about your business and your personal data, such as your bank account number. This will enable you to receive local payments. After submitting the form, the payment gateway will review the information you provided before approving your account. This ensures a thorough verification process for secure transactions. You can start accepting payments for your products. But if you want to drive sales and ensure customer satisfaction, here are some best practices to implement. First, make sure the gateway you choose follows PCI standards to keep customer information safe. This will help you build trust with customers and make them more likely to stick with your brand. Big credit card companies like Stripe and Square follow these standards too. Secondly, keep your checkout process simple. Having too many steps can confuse shoppers and encourage them to leave without buying anything. Next, be clear about your refund policies. Tell customers what to expect when they shop on your site. Create a dedicated refund page and link to it during checkout. If you sell both physical and digital goods, you might need two different refund policies. Digital goods are usually non-refundable, but physical goods might be, so explain this to customers. Keeping track of your store's performance is another best practice. WooCommerce has a reports feature that shows you how many customers are completing their purchases, how many are asking for refunds, and more. These reports will help you understand and improve your store's performance. Lastly, use different payment gateways. A PayPal survey from 2023 found that 59% of online shoppers left their cards because their preferred payment methods weren't available. So, having multiple payment options can help you get more sales. There you have it. That's all the important steps to set up and accept payments from your WooCommerce store. Accepting payments in WooCommerce might seem overwhelming, but I hope this guide makes it a lot quicker and simpler. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative tutorials.